In this video, we'll be doing some more examples of integration of the natural logarithm function. Recall that the log rule is the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to ln absolute value of x plus a constant. If we have a composite function, the integral of 1 over u du is equal to ln absolute value of u plus a constant. Our first example, um, we're asked to find the integral of 2x over the quantity x plus 1 squared dx. Now you can see on this that if I multiplied out this denominator, it would be a second degree polynomial. And our degree of our denominator is 1 more than the degree of the numerator. So we will need to use um, our log rule that we have up here. We'll want u to equal x plus 1. So then uh, du is equal to dx. But notice up here that I still need to solve this equation for x so that I can have something to sub in. So this equation gives me x equals u minus 1. Let's do some substitutions then. This problem becomes the integral of, we have 2, and then in place of x, I'm going to put u minus 1. And um, x plus 1 is u, so in the bottom I have a u squared. And then in place of dx, I'll put du. So we can pull this 2 out in front of our integral, and this becomes 2 times the integral of u minus 1 over u squared du. Now I'm going to break this into two separate fractions. So I have 2 times the integral of u over u squared is the same as 1 over u minus, and then 1 over u squared. All right. We um, need our log rule for this one. Um, this one, however, we can use our power rule on, so I'm going to rewrite that. I have 1 over u minus u to the negative 2. So uh, the integral of 1 over u is ln absolute value of u. Um, the integral here, we increase the exponent by 1, so that will be a negative 1, and then divide by the new exponent. So I have u to the negative 1 divided by negative 1, and then plus my constant. So let's sub back in. Um, we have 2 ln of x plus 1. Now this minus and this minus gives me a plus. And then 1 over x plus 1. So that's my answer. I could also uh, distribute that to do another one. All right, we're integrating secant squared x over tangent x dx. Now keep in mind that the derivative of tangent is secant squared. 
So I'm going to let u equal tangent x. Then my derivative is secant squared x dx. So uh, look for the derivative in your problem to see how to approach the problem. So now what I'm doing is integrating um, this secant squared times dx is just my du. So I have 1 over u du. That is ln of the absolute value of u plus a constant. So if we sub back in, we have ln of tangent x plus a constant.